In this video, you will see how to correctly install the Terra AC wall box onto a wall. Before beginning work, make sure that you have all of the components required. The Terra AC wall box, a power supply cable, two M6 by 60 screws, two M6 by 120 screws, two yellow plastic plugs, 8 by 60 L, and two white plastic plugs, 10 by 60 L. Other tools that you will need are a pencil, a spirit level, a ruler, a drill, and two screwdrivers. Depending on local regulations, upstream devices may also be required. Please open the Terra AC wall box and make sure you have all the items required to complete the installation successfully. Please note that the ABB Terra AC wall box must be installed by a qualified electrician and in accordance with the electrical codes and ordinances. Find a wall in the location you wish to install the Terra AC wall box. Make sure that the correct cables and power supply are available and ensure your cabinet has enough space for upstream devices if required. Make sure to switch off power during installation. Next, mount the Terra AC wall box on the wall. Take the installation template and place it on the wall. Use the spirit level to correctly place it. Verify that the charging cable can easily reach the vehicle inlet from the spot you have chosen. Use a pencil to mark the four mounting holes on the wall. Then remove the template and drill two holes at the top and two holes at the bottom, each 8 millimeters in diameter in the marked locations. Take the yellow plug and insert them into the upper holes. Then take the plug and insert them into the lower holes. Screw the M6 by 60 screws into the upper holes when inserting the screw Leave it 10 millimeters out of the wall. You should use a ruler to ensure you have left the correct distance. Open the wall box. Unscrew the two screws at the bottom of the wall box. Make sure to keep the screws for later. You should now be able to open and remove the cover. Take the Terra AC wall box and, using the notches on the back of the box, Hang it on the protruding screws on the wall. Use a level to ensure it is not crooked. Screw the M6 x 120 screws into the bottom mounting holes of the wall box. You should be able to see the maintenance door. This needs to be removed, which can be done by unscrewing the six screws securing it. Make sure to keep them for later. This should then reveal the power supply inlet at the bottom left of the opening. Insert the cable through the inlet hole. Make sure to always follow the local electrical codes and regulations. To connect the AC input cable, first loosen the screws of the terminal block. Then, insert the power supply wires into the terminal block. Tighten the screws with a torque force of 1.2 Newton meter. The following wires then need to be connected. Earthing wire, neutral wire, L1 phase A. To complete three-phase installation, connect also L2 Phase B, L3 Phase C. Place the strain relief for the AC input cable with the maintenance door removed. This is also the best time to attach an Ethernet cable or SIM card. The Terra AC wall box can be connected to the internet either by Ethernet connection or via a 3G, 4G nano SIM card. To connect it via Ethernet cable, find the Ethernet RJ45 socket. Put the Ethernet cable through the cable inlet hole. Put the RJ45 plug of the Ethernet cable in the Ethernet RJ45 socket. To connect via SIM card, insert the Nano SIM card into the socket, making sure that the gold pads of the Nano SIM card are at the bottom. Using the screws that you have removed from the box, reinstall the maintenance door and put the cover back on. Double check that everything is secured in place. Then, turn on the power supply to the Terra AC wall box. Once the AC power is supplied, the wall box will automatically turn on. Let's finish by recapping the steps involved in installing the Terra AC wall box. First, 
find a wall with a power supply. Next, use the template to mark where to drill the holes to mount the wall box, ensuring the cable will reach the vehicle inlet. Then, install the top screws. Remember to leave them protruding 10 millimeters. Next, open the wall box by removing the two screws at the bottom. Hang the wall box on the protruding screws and screw the remaining M8 by 120 screws into the bottom mounting holes. Remove the maintenance door and connect the power supply cable to the power supply inlet. Attach the Ethernet cable or SIM card. Screw the maintenance door and cover back on. Then turn on the wall box. Switch on the AC power supply to start the charger. The Terra AC wall box will turn on automatically. The status is confirmed by an on-off LED indicator.